Hey, it's Andy from SmartWP, and today I'm gonna to show you how to add Google Analytics to your WordPress site. If you don't have a Google Analytics account already, I'm also gonna show you how to do that, and plus we're gonna be using a free plugin to integrate it with your WordPress site. It's really simple, so let's just hop right in. So we're already logged into our WordPress site. As you can see on the top left, let's just head over to our dashboard, and we're gonna add a new plugin. So we'll go to Plugins, Add New, and the plugin we're gonna be using is called GANWP. Now there are a lot of plugins that you can use for Google Analytics on your WordPress site. A lot of them try to upsell you on features you don't need. I especially like this GA in WP because it's free and it shows you your reporting on your dashboard so you don't have to leave your dashboard once you have everything set up. So let's activate and install this plugin. So we're activating it. And we'll head over to the settings. Now as you can see here, it's pretty simple the amount of options here. Uh, you can do a setup mode, tracking and reporting. Tracking and reporting, of course, will add tracking to your site and show you the reporting on the site. But if you just wanna add tracking and you don't care about the actual reporting on your site, you can put it on tracking only mode and um, just put in your tracking ID and save your settings and it'll do everything for you. Uh, if you don't know your tracking ID, we'll show you that later in the video. But for this tutorial, we're gonna be doing tracking and reporting. So let's first set up our Google Analytics account. Now the first thing you wanna do is go to analytics.google.com. Now we already have an account set up, so you probably won't be greeted with this, so we're gonna go head over to admin, and then we're gonna create a new account. Now we're just gonna call our account uh, smartwpdev. You can also call it my domains, my, my websites, anything like that. Um, I recommend opting out of all of Google features. And then we'll hit next. And then this is just for the web, so we'll do that. And now we're gonna add our property. So we're gonna add a smart WP dev. Our site is HTTPS. So we'll put in the domain name of our website. Uh, you can put your industry in here. They use your industry to kind of give you a gauge of how you're doing in your category. I really don't like that Google does this. Um, so I kind of just usually pick other. And of course, you're gonna pick your time zone. We're in New York time zone here and we're gonna hit create. And then we'll accept the terms of service. So now we have our property set up in Google Analytics, and this is the tracking ID that I mentioned earlier. So if you already have an account, you could just put that tracking ID in the tracking only mode, and it'll be working just as you expect. But we want reporting and tracking, so let's head over back to our dashboard, and we're gonna hit authorize plugin. So you see here, we have to click get access code to get the access code. We'll log into our account and we'll hit allow. And then you can see here we have our API code, so we'll copy this and we'll head over back to our dashboard and we'll paste it in. And now you can see uh, Smart WP Dev, all of our settings are here and everything's looking correct. So what that actually just did was connect Google Analytics API to the plugin and that allows the plugin to show you the reporting. Now that's why in the tracking only mode, it was only asking for your ID, but for the reporting, you have to have that, that two-way connection. So that's what we just did there. And um, we're actually all done now. So now all of your visitors and page views will be tracked in, in Google Analytics. But if you see on our dashboard now, we actually have a new widget here for Google Analytics. So we could bring that to the top. And after a couple days, we'll have data showing up there of visitors hitting the site and you don't ever have to leave the dashboard to see your reporting. This is especially great if you have clients who don't really wanna log into analytics and they just wanna see everything in the WordPress site. And that's it, we're all done. And uh, I hope this video was helpful. Remember to like and subscribe. And thanks again for watching. See ya.